the biggest new features that we have uh, with Pro Tools and Yukon is layouts. And layouts are something that Yukon has always been able to do, but something we were unable to do via the Huey protocol and Pro Tools. And so we're very excited to show that new feature today. And um, the uh, concept behind layouts is something that you know other control surface companies that come out with Digidesign themselves have uh, something called custom faders on the D control and D command that is a really cool feature that we're basically mimicking. Now I will note that the D control and D command do this custom faders or layouts feature uh, in a much more elegant fashion than we can do so on the Artist series. But to be able to do something like this at all for a control surface that costs this much money is really significant. And so, uh, theoretically, if I wanted to, say, map um, my Pro Tools Master Fader to this fader right here on the control surface and have it stay there at all times, even when I'm banking and nudging around like normal, then I can do that and I would create a layout to do it. So, um, just going back to one of the earlier videos that I did where I was showing this via Huey, I explained the track navigation situation um, and being that with Huey, the connection to the computer, the Surface did not know the name and the number of every Pro Tools track you had in your session. It was only aware of the tracks that were showing up on the faders of the Surface. And when you banked and nudge around, new tracks would come into focus. But you couldn't do anything like custom faders or layouts, specifically for that reason. But now, with Yukon, we can actually, we do know the name and the number of every single Pro Tools track in a session, regardless of whether or not it's showing up on a physical fader. So if uh, I have 150 Pro Tools tracks in my session and only 12 physical faders on the control surface, doesn't matter. Via Yukon, the surface will know. This touch screen here will be populated with all those tracks and uh, you can start to do stuff like create layouts. So let's actually create a couple. These are a couple that I use um, in the studio all the time with lots of different types of session actually. Uh, the first one we want to do is I actually want all 11 of these faders to bank and nudge like normal as they're doing right now. And I'll also note before we actually create these custom layouts that just banking and nudging works like normal um, because also with Huey not only did it not know the name and the number of every track in the session but it also didn't know how many physical faders you had attached so if a um, customer had an artist control hooked up and they banked they would actually skip some tracks because Pro Tools thought that the control had eight faders and not four and so luckily now over this Yukon connection uh, the Surface and Pro Tools were able, to, uh, were able to know how many faders are actually on the Surface. So when I hit bank, it's going to bank by four faders since I have a control connected. If I only had an Artist Mix connected I would, and hit bank, it would be, connect, or excuse me, it would be banking by eight faders. Also, so let's say I had no idea where I was in my session. Uh, lots of tracks in there and I wanted to get track number one back to my leftmost fader. Well, we had home and end as a hardware button on the control surface for a long time. Once again, not working in Huey. So now with Yukon, if I wanted to get track number one to the leftmost fader, hold down this shift button right here and hit the bank left button because I know the blue font here says home and it'll get track one to that leftmost fader. And if I go over to my Pro Tools session, you can see that. And track number one is actually not an audio track, it's a VCA fader, which we'll get into in a second. And if I hit end, same thing, holding down shift, this time hitting the bank right button, blue font says end, gets me back to the last um, 12 tracks in the session. And then I'll see on my rightmost fader, there's that last one.